Hey everybody and uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to another session where we sit and uh, we talk to one of the uh, drivers. This time though I am very lucky I am able to talk to a fellow commentator as well. Now he is pretty tough to track down, he is quite uh, a, a shy guy but I've managed to find him. Um, I phoned the landlord of the uh, dirty dinosaur and uh, he said yes he's here so i've uh, managed to pin him down into a corner so we can have a chat i know him as ian you will all know him as firepower out on track so uh firepower it is fantastic to finally sit you down and have a chat with you how are you yeah good mate thank you yeah having a good day having a little uh, a little sipple as you call it in the corner there well, it'd be room not to, wouldn't it, really? Just, <laughs> just a, a cheeky one, shall we say? <laughs> um, I'm just going to get straight into it, because I, I know you've got a busy schedule ahead of you tonight. Um, so, as I've said in the introduction, you are a fellow commentator, and a very good one at that as well. And this season as well, I'm very lucky to have you as my teammate on uh, Sundays. Um, question to you is, what do you prefer, commentating or driving? Oh, good question that one mate I think it's going to be pretty close it's almost 50 50 I think but so the commentating you have got chance to drink a little bit more on the comms rather than when if you're in the race so <laughs> there's there's a plus for starters on the commentary and I think I've been doing it now for the last four years on the comms I think since uh, Alex first asked me and I thought let's have a bit of fun and just go for it you know just for a laugh and it's just sort of stuck from there so um if things go wrong I'll, and my kidneys knack up, knack her up i'll just blame alex um, <laughs> overall i think the uh, racing might grab it just because um you know you, you're in there you never know what's going to happen so i'm going to go for the racing just over the comms oh well good well uh, I, I hope you carry on doing the comms as well as the racing because as i say great to have you as a teammate we do practice uh, a lot together but i love your comms as well as i know a lot of other people do um just moving on from that then have you got any um sort of superstitious rituals that you do before a race either again either as a driver or a commentator oh yeah mate so if it's a race with out pit stops i have like uh, three shots of vodka before the race <laughs> just to steady the nerves how did if i know race, <laughs> yeah how do you know that yeah <laughs> if it's a race with um, a pit stop i'll just have a sneaky one by the side so when my car pulls <laughs> into the pits i can just have a, a sneaky extra one so that's uh, that's about it really mate apart from uh, wearing odd socks now and then i'd sometimes do that um, so it's yeah. odd, odd socks and you look forward to the endurance races where you can get an extra a sneaky sipple in um, exactly. during a pit stop. <laughs> That's right, mate. Yeah. That's oh, I love it. Fantastic. Um, I've asked other drivers uh, and I'm going to ask you and I'll ask everybody that comes on as well. So anybody listening, be prepared. Um, what's your expectation for this season? Um, where, where are you aiming to finish and uh, that's Sundays as, as well as Wednesdays because I know you're racing Wednesdays as well um, I think staying on track will be the first achievement that'll be good <laughs> uh, I think I'm looking to um, as far as Sundays goes I think I'm if I can finish mid pack I think I'll be quite happy with that one yeah um, if I can stay at the bottom three that'll be even better um, so, so it's about mid pack like, same as myself yeah, then really yeah yeah or maybe stay off the booze then. Um, no, no, I can't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I'm losing all train of thought now. The, 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 just the thought of you sitting there with your, with your sipple waiting in for a pit stop. <laughs> um, if you could change anything within the game, mm -hmm. or for that matter, within URL, is there mm -hmm. anything you change? Yeah, yeah, so I suppose with the, the game first, I think uh, it would be good if we could actually have better servers, would it? Because let's, let's be honest yeah. about this, the servers <coughs> on GT7 are, are pretty, um, what should we say, to keep the language clean, uh, toss. Yeah, um, I think uh, Toten was referring to that as well last uh, when I spoke to him last week, that, uh, yeah. that, that the servers are not, not fantastic. Mm -hmm. And as far as URL goes, anything that probably changes there. Uh, they're going to love me for this, aren't they? Get rid of the um, reverse, um, reverse grid. 
<laughs> yes. That's, that's, that's the only thing I'd probably change, to be quite honest, mate. You're not a fan of the reverse grid. Well, on a Wednesday, nah. we don't do a reverse grid, do we? Do you find it better? Oh, loads better, mate. A lot, lot better. Yeah. Because you, you don't get the action. You know, I was watching, uh, I was doing the comms this morning for uh, League Two, and it was reverse grid, and um, Brisbane obviously started at the back because he won the first race and he just came straight through mate and just won the race yeah so uh, I, I think personally i think it's pretty pointless having reverse grids and I know it does I've, cut uh, down on the accidents as well yeah i've had a few people sort of say to me that they don't like it but it's more the people that um well it's a mix for me it's a mix i've had a few people say to me oh i don't like it because i'm a slower driver and it always unnerves me all the quicker guys coming through and the quicker mm -hmm. guys are saying i don't like it because i've got all you lot slower people in front of me and i've got to try and get by but you can't please everybody can you so um i don't know that's that's one for the uh, the boss the boss man to sort out i suppose um Looking at the game, tracks, do you, have you got any favourite tracks or is there any tracks that you absolutely hate? Yeah, mate, so let's go with the hate ones first, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell uh, any, me. Anything reversed. <laughs> exactly, who you knows? Who you knows? Let's go. Any track in reverse is banning, that's, that's number one. So, <laughs> you know me. So, first, yeah, so um, I can pick three tracks that are my favourite, so I can't put one at the very top so i've got Suzuka gp i love that track that's a good one yeah yeah i've got big willow which i know a lot of people think oh, but i love it no and a third one i'm going to go for mount pam yeah because i have been told a lot of uh, other racers like to mount pam now and then so yeah well i'd agree with two out of the three there i don't know about big willow yeah the giant sandpit it's probably because i'm always out there making sand castles that's uh, that's okay. why i, I don't uh, i don't like that um yeah. well i want to ask you then we've had just recently uh, we've had quite a lot of new guys join which is fantastic mm -hmm. we're expanding expanding the ultimate racing league which is what we want uh, a lot of new guys coming in what advice would you give some of these uh, new guys that have just joined um, get absolutely wrecked, mate, before the race. I think that's the best advice I can give. Um, have a bottle of vodka note, to uh, hand. Yeah, a bottle of vodka, a bottle of wine on the right hand side, a bottle of vodka on the left. Probably no, not. But seriously, just uh, yeah, just enjoy it, guys. Uh, they are a great set of lads in the Ultimate Racing League, and uh, they didn't pay me to say that. Uh, that's quite an honest answer. And uh, yeah, just enjoy it. That's all I can say. You know. Yeah. I'd agree with that. I mean, when I first joined, it was all a bit daunting, but you just enjoy it, get on with it. They are a good mm -hmm. bunch of lads as well. So, um, yeah, yeah it, it, I would encourage anybody to join. Look, that's all the questions I've got for you, Ian. Is there anything else you want to add or anything you want to have a chat about? Yeah, mate, um, you're buying the next round. <laughs> I'm, I'm on my way down. I'm, I'm on my way down. Well, Ian, as always, it is a pleasure to talk to you. Keep up the good work with the comms. I love watching the races, especially with your uh, made-up corner names. And uh, you've even got me doing it as well now and, and joining in with the made-up corner names. So keep up the good work with that. And obviously, I shall see you on track as a teammate on Sunday where we'll take the team event by storm, shall we, and uh, finish in the middle. Yeah, mate, all I want to do really is just think about uh, Maureen's muff and Brenda and Wendy and we're going to fly her, mate, absolute flyer. The, the new brand's hatch corner names. That's it, mate, it's going to be officially made for next season, I think. Uh, Brilliant yeah. stuff. Well, thanks ever so much, then, Ian. Uh, I'll catch up with you later. And next week, well, I don't know who we're going to have next week. I shall surprise somebody. Uh, by dropping a few questions in their lap so uh, look out for that I want to say thanks to uh, again to Ian and I shall catch up with everybody as soon as I can yeah.